<laughs> Last week, I took a look at the Apple silicone case for the iPhone 6. I loved it because it added much needed grip and a simple design, but I hate that it gathered so much dust just due to it being silicone. Well, as promised, this week we have the Apple leather case for the iPhone 6. Let's dive right into it and see whether the Apple leather case is worth the additional $10 over the silicone case. The light is really in my eyes. The leather case has the exact same form factor as the silicone case, including functionality and overall design. The only difference being really that it's the exterior is made of leather and the silicone version has exterior made of silicone. The interior is still lined with a microfiber layer and the case consists of the same camera cutout, um, silent switch cutout, volume buttons, power button, and access to the bottom jacks and ports. Even though the bottom is exposed, yes you can say that it's less protective but I would argue that it's designed to cover you for the most part. The corners are actually folded over here. You can see it comes over on the bottom to prevent the bottom from conducting a flat surface. So whenever it hits a flat surface, the bottom never actually touches the surface because these corners are curved over. Because of that, you have all this extra room for the ports, the speaker, the lightning cable, and the headphone jack, and the extra space around the headphone uh, jack to allow any size of headphone plug, basically. So if you have those big um, studio ones, that'll fit, or if you have just small earplugs, that'll fit perfectly as well. The way I see it, this case is actually is meant to provide a basic level of protection from everyday use. Setting it on the table or pulling it in and out of your pocket. While its main focus is on being a fashion statement, you can tell because it looks very sleek and nice. I like the brown especially. Um, and of course, that's just essentially what leather is made for. It, it's made to look good. It's made to look um, professional and sleek like this does here. Unfortunately, unlike the silicone case, um, it doesn't add much grip to the iPhone, which is something I really liked about the silicone case. You wouldn't be afraid of dropping it because the silicone really stuck to your hand. Um, for, for me, my hands are usually really dry. So dry and the leather is really slippery and sleek. Uh, it doesn't really help grip-wise. So because this leather isn't a very thick type of leather, it seems to be a, a very thin layer that you can actually, it seems like you can actually peel this off. Of course, it's it's a sturdy case, but I'm constantly afraid of actually severely scratching the leather, so I'm more careful than usual uh, in handling the case. Scratches on leather is meant to give it a very unique look, but it's just hard to look at sometimes, especially when you pay over $50 for a case and you're getting all these scratches. It just doesn't look good, um, especially with the leather they use here. It's very vulnerable to that. All in all, if you're looking for a stylish case and you're a true Apple fan, this is the case to go for. Otherwise, for the other 97% of us, um, there are much better options uh, for simple hard shell cases um, that offer just as much protection at probably a quarter of the cost. For example, the silicone case, $10 less, a much better option, added grip, um, and also a very clean design. You won't get the leather, but and you will be facing dust problems, but it's much more worth it than having a case that you're afraid to actually, well, for me, I'm afraid to actually use this most of the time uh, because I'm afraid of scratching the leather, um, but that's just me. Of course, it's a little on the expensive side for $55 after tax in Canada, but you can grab it at your local Apple store or authorized Apple dealer like Best Buy or Future Shop. And of course, thanks for checking out my review, guys. Um, I've got a few more lined up for the coming weeks so be sure to like this if it helped dislike if it didn't and subscribe for updates in the future until next time